Hello, my name is Jerry Cherry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the solo from the song Down to the Wire from my album Married to Myself. This song was actually written when I was a teenager in my first band called No Reason. When it came time to record the guitar solo, I tried my hardest to copy what guitarist Carl Bailey recorded during his first part of the solo. Carl and I would usually split the solos, taking about 8 bars each, sometimes 16. First, I'm going to play the Down to the Wire solo for you with some tracks that I created. Then I'll break down the solo for you, part by part. Before I break down this solo, if you enjoy this video, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you. My mission on this channel is to help guitarists improve their playing and take the necessary steps to become successful. So let's have some fun with the solo. It's in D minor, like Spinal Tap, <laughs> but it starts off on the A chord, A major chord, which makes it an A Phrygian dominant which is relative to D harmonic minor. Normally the A would be minor, relative to natural minor D, but makes it, the A makes it a dominant chord, which leads to the D. So it's harmonic minor one in this case. So it starts off the first riff on an A chord. Classic Phrygian dominant riff. Like I pointed out before, like I mentioned before, Carl Bailey wrote this first half of the guitar solo back in the old days and no reason and uh, I tried my hardest to copy what he did and it's pure genius the phrasing on this it's really really cool so it starts on the A continues with a and it leads to the D minor or the D minor chord what it does is it bends to the D taps on the third Bends from the G to the A. What's happened here on the. And over the C chord, still in D minor, but starting on the C. Then hitting the F. Starting on the C sharp, and it goes to the A chord, utilizing the A. Phrygian dominant. So now I'm playing that scale. I land on the E when it goes to the B flat chord. So after that riff, Then it gets to D minor. I do a thing in seconds where it goes up diatonically. Where I go. I'm hitting seconds here in the scale from the G to the A. So I'm pulling off of here. Right up the scale diatonically, just doing the same thing in seconds. I take the C and I bend up a whole step. Down to the C. 
when it hits the C chord. It goes to the A. Once again, A, Phrygian dominant. Well, I go, uh, it goes. Basically, it's D harmonic minor. Minor, seventh to the eighth octave, fifth to the minor sixth. In like kind of like a blues pentatonic feel. It's really D harmonic minor or A Phrygian dominant. Same thing when I when I say it. And then it goes to the B flat chord. Let's see. And I play arpeggios over that. It's got a B flat. C. D minor. And I go. Which is basically the first part was the D triad. I go E diminished triad. This is really the next one up diatonically in the scale from D minor. You have E, which is the seventh, you know, this is would be the sixth degree, fifth, fourth. If we hit the, the F major. Why did I choose that? Why not? Because I, I need some notes and I grabbed onto those where it goes. That sounds cool. I do a run. Why did I start there? Because it's the exact amount of notes that I needed to do a run right there and land on C, where the chord lands on C. It's on C. I hit a... Which is a minor third bend, which, relative to the D minor pentatonic scale, but in the, over the C chord, I'm taking... Bending up. I, don't, I mean, I could have bent a half step. Doesn't it sound better? Minor third. And then I go over the A chord, playing the major. Harmonic minor, or Phrygian dominant. For this last A chord. And then I do a, a little diminished riff because. Now the trick I learned from the master Ingve Malstein is that over a dominant chord or the uh, Phrygian dominant that he plays all the time, if you start on the third, which we've been doing all the time, you could actually play the um, diminished arpeggios here. So what I do is I start in the third up here. I go into the top. That's it. And that is the whole solo for Down to the Wire. Is there a solo you'd like me to break down? I'm taking requests. Let me know in the comments below. I post a new guitar video every Wednesday. Sorry I'm a day late this week. But I have some really great videos coming up that will definitely help take your playing to the next level. Once again, if you find this video helpful, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. And remember, be cool, be kind, and be cherry.